All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to anneal hard copper in this video. So Check it out. this video, we're going to use the Navac NTE-11H tubing expander. I'm going to show you guys what happens when you try to expand hard copper without heating it up first. I've got inch and eighth pipe here, so I've got the inch and eighth tubing expanding die, and I'm going to just thread it onto the tool and get it ready, just like that. So I've got the tool inserted into the pipe and I've squeezed the trigger a couple of times to get some pressure on here. So we're just going to keep squeezing that and see what happens to this inch and eight hard drawn piece of pipe. So there we go. I've got a result for you fairly quick. You see that? You see how we crack that by trying to expand hard drawn copper? I'm going to show you a way that you can fix this or if you need to in the field if you have hard drawn copper you don't have a coupling or you don't want to use a coupling the way we can expand this tubing without it cracking so what we want to do is we want to heat the end of this copper until it glows red and trust me it works i'll show you right now now you want to keep the torch moving because you don't want to poke a hole or punch a hole in the copper and you don't want to start to liquefy it because you'll just create a mess Still glowing red a little bit. We're gonna let it cool off, clean it up a bit, and then I'll show you guys the magic after annealing the copper. So it's cooled down, it's cleaned up. I cleaned it up because in the field, you're you're not gonna create a swage and then not clean it, right? So I clean it up so you guys can keep with best practices here during the video. And let's use the expander now and see what happens. The tube is actually expanding nicely and it's expanding at a much easier pace or rate than it was previous but it's getting tighter as we go so I've got some of this expanded already you can see how it's bulging out like that so let's just finish this off real quick So there we have opened that right up so we can stick a piece of pipe in here now to see if it fits in nicely. You can see some water dripping out because I used the snow to cool this pipe off which you should not do in the field by the way. Okay so now we have our swage done okay no cracks whatsoever done with the tubing expander and we have a piece of pipe inch and eight that fits in the top just like that so now we've created a swage with hard pipe by heating it up and that's how you do it and that process is called annealing happy hvacking